Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. It's Whip It Wednesday for Wednesday, September 25th, 2019. So if you want to see what I've been working on this week, please stay tuned. I've been kind of busy this week in the, um, the craft room, getting a few things um, finished up and trying to prep. Um, one of my projects one thing that i already told you about are my um zipper pouches and i'll put a picture of the one that i already made um but i showed it last week and i have a plan to make 25 of them for a craft i mean a fall festival at my school i have not really been working on it because i showed it to somebody and she was like, hey, what about making like a fanny pack? And so I looked it up online and I'm sort of interested in making the fanny packs, but I would have to get some of those little D rings. But I'm still going to do the regular zipper pouches, but I really need to sit down and figure out exactly how many of what type of bag I'm going to make because I'm thinking maybe I can have two or three different styles that I can use but I just don't know what to do yet. I did uh, cut out enough batting to make six bags. I think this is 12 little panels, but these are just maybe the regular zipper bags. And so I just need to think a little bit and decide how I want to handle all the rest of that stuff. I also started cutting out my leftover t-shirts and jerseys. These are leftover from a quilt that I made, um, not this past summer, but the summer before. And I think I'll put a picture of it here so that you can remind yourself or see that quilt for the first time. And this is just um, scratching the surface of these. I still have a lot of work to do before I can make some bags. I have, it's this bag almost full of scraps that I need to cut. And the only reason I say that I kind of need to cut all those is because I want to have a lot of variety in the, in the style of bag and in the colors. So if I cut more of that fabric, then I have more of a chance to get some variety. So this is going to be my next big thing. And the fall festival is like on the 26th of next month. So I do need to get to work on that. But I think now I have a little bit of wiggle room uh, because of what I've completed this week. If you saw my earlier video this week, you saw that I made the poly side of my polyester quilt. This uh, panel was originally created by my grandmother and I have the panels and I'm gonna turn them into a quilt. I'll put the completed panel, I have a picture of it, I'll put it in the video here. And then I'll put a link to the other videos in this series where I'm working on this polyester quilt. I need to, I think this weekend, I'm gonna do the other side. Because of my patterns, they're not hard to do and they're really big pieces, so they go together quickly. It's just a matter of getting the pieces cut and figuring out how they're gonna fit onto the panel. So I have the fabrics already. I just need to start pressing them and cutting them and getting them ready to go with that other panel. Last but certainly not least is my Pieces of My Heart quilt. And I'm gonna show you the bat, the binding. So you can see that the binding is all done there. And it does have a label and it does have a sleeve. So this is ready to go. I have not actually opened up the whole thing since I put the batting on, since I finished it. So I'm going to show you that um, on in the other room on the floor. I'm going to lay it out right now. So let's take a look at it. I am so excited. I love this quilt. I may or may not be hiding a squeal of joy at seeing this thing with the binding on it. I just think it came out so well. I won't really do close-ups of the quilting but it's, I just think it looks amazing. I wish that I could hang it up somewhere so I could see it because I feel like 
we could get a better view of it if it was hanging. But it is really, really cool. Um, I'm not quite done with it. I'm not quite ready to wash it yet. I want to so bad, but I still have some threads that I need to hide, like right here. These are still poking out. These are poking out. So I need to go go through and hide all my threads first. And, um, and then I think it'll be ready to go in the wash. I also got some more color catchers. I was out. And so I know I need to do that because of all this red. I'm really concerned about this red fabric bleeding onto my uh, crumbs. I don't want that. But it's so pretty. And once I wash it and um, and dry it, I think I'm going to make it my bed quilt. But I'm also going to enter it in something. I just, I'm so happy with it. It's really really beautiful I'm, I'm just excited about it my favorite thing though or one of my favorite parts about it is the label i'm going to insert a picture here of the label it's right here but i'm going to insert a picture because um i used a special stitch on my machine to come up with that little border and i love that it's little hearts it's super cute and you can see the backing fabric here, also adorable. I need to check the back because just to make sure there aren't any imperfections in the quilting. I'm not going to go back and fix them if there are, but there may be some things that, like some extra threads or something. But here it is. I'm so, 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 so pleased. Thank you so much for following along with these journeys as I make all of these different quilts. Um, if you have any questions about what you've seen today, leave it in the comments below. I'll put links to any videos that are relating to these projects as well. Um, thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!